from now on from this 35th sutra to the 45th sutra yoga darshana maharshi patanjali explains what are the results benefits or the after signs of the practice of yamanayamas each practice what is its benefit what are its effects and what are its end results that is beautifully each sutra is explained in this and what are the signs of the practice of yamanayamas as a mahavrata you should always remember that and the first sutra in this series the 35th sutra of the maharshi's beautiful saying is the अहिंसा प्रतिष्ठायां तत् सन्निधौ वैरत्यागः अहिंसा प्रतिष्ठायां तत् सन्निधौ वैरत्यागः अहिंसा प्रतिष्ठायां तत् सन्निधौ वैरत्यागः अहिंसा नॉन हर्टिंग नो हिंसा प्रतिष्ठायां established tat in its at its sannidho near sannidho near presence vaira enmity antagonism tyagah free from it means in presence of a person established in ahimsa there will be an absence of enmity absence of antagonism how beautiful the practice of ahimsa ahimsa is not just non violence it is not just not hurting others that is true but the further is the practice of ahimsa the expression of ahimsa is based rooted in recognizing the fundamental truth of oneness of the whole world the one in me is present in all the one in me is the same in all the one in me is the reflection in all It's very important dimension all our behaviors all our attitudes and all our expressions physically and mentally if they are rooted and based on this that practice that lifestyle that way of life is ahimsa it is it's very very important principle concept to be understood and the purpose is given it is pratishthayam a high degree of practice is needed and it is also a measuring rod how do we know that a person is established in ahimsa in his presence there will not be enmity or antagonism even the natural tendencies of enmity and hatred and antagonism will be lost the tendencies will be overpowered in the presence of such personality a snake and a mongoose we lose their tendency a cat and a dog their natural tendencies because those tendencies are actually not their real swabhava and the real swabhava swabhava of mine swabhava of them is same 
and that is practice of ahimsa and lot of discussions arguments presentations go on in the dimension of practice of ahimsa while explaining adi shankara acharya beautifully says it there should not be parapidanam that is practice of ahimsa a dog is sleeping just throwing a stone on it a cat is lying down just kick it with the legs you are sitting somewhere or standing somewhere a small ant will be crawling just crush the ant these are all parapidanam that means recognizing the right of living and the right of living has a right to defend itself as i as we have a right to defend ourselves everyone has a right to defend itself their own life this respecting honoring and behaving and practicing it that is ahimsa and if somebody dishonors this and somebody violates it and countering that is not himsa because by countering it you will be promoting you will establishing the ahimsa this is to be kept in the mind so ahimsa pratishthayam tat sanidho vairatyaga there are innumerable number of incidents in our puranas lot of incidents and events we come across even in this day present today where opposite nature beings with opposite tendencies they live together comfortably in the presence of lovable persons motherly persons persons who pour out calmness serenity and that is expression of love and ahimsa so on vivekananda again writes beautifully worth to read if a man gets the idea of non injuring others before him even animals which are by their nature ferocious will become peaceful the tiger and the lamb will play together before the yogi and will not hurt each other when you have come to that state then alone you will understand that you have become firmly established in non injuring ahimsa this is swam vivekananda beautifully concludes this particular sutra then the next sutra 36th sutra is the satya pratishthayam kriya phala shrayatvam satya pratishthayam kriya phala shrayatvam satya pratishthayam kriya phala ashrayatvam established in satya pratishthayam kriya is the action phala is the result of action fruit of action kriya phalam fruit of action result of action ashrayatvam it depends it bears that is the beautiful meaning given in the practice of satya satya pratishthaya 
கிரியாஃபலாஸ்ரயத்துவம் எ வண்டர்ஃபுல் சூத்திர தி கிவிங் தி பெனிஃபிட் ஆஃப் தி ப்ராக்டிஸ் ஆஃப் சத்தியம் so by firmly establishing in satya the result of the action is in ensure is sure it is or the fruit is dependent on the action very clearly the sutra mentions it and the effect of this is very important to understand because kriya phala when any action is done there will be a result the fruit of the action will be there every action has its fruit and every fruit every result of the action depends on not only on one particular action it also dependent on the various other resultant forces It's very important dimension when we perform an action for a particular expected result many times an expected result may not come because the action which is performed and the result which has come may not be connected or what is the expected result may not not come expected result has not come because not only because of our action or the action which is visible there are also other resultant factors which are unseen or which are along with the action or not expected not within the framework of the plan of my expectation of the result so the expected result has not come it's a very very important dimension many times in our own life in our day to day actions day to day affairs material affairs we expect a particular result we fix a goal we fix a task we expect a particular result from a work and we perform the work but many times the result will not come or some other result will come or totally reverse will happen why because we think we firmly expect we firmly think that this a particular result will come from this particular action but we always forget it that to get a perfect correct expected result it is not only my particular action is responsible but there are also other actions which also will be producing the results and the final resultant of all these actions seen and unseen beautifully drishta karma and adrishta karma drishta phalam adrishta phalam will be there it's very very important to understand this karma phala kriya phalam but a person who is established in satya will be able to correctly judge what will be the result of a particular action he will be able to take into consideration he will be able to analyze he will be able to visualize he will be able to take into view of all the actions which are not seen normally generally commonly by an ordinary person and he will be able to predict correctly 
दट इज कर्म फल क्रियाफल आश्रयत्व दट इज इंपॉर्टेंट डायमेंशन सो ही विल बी एबल टू फोरकास्ट एग्जैक्ट नेचर ऑफ द फ्रूट ऑफ एनी पर्टिक्युलर एक्शन डन बाय हिमसेल्फ और इवन बाय द अदर्स सो द अनप्रडिक्टेबिलिटी ऑफ द कर्म फल द अनप्रडिक्टेबिलिटी ऑफ द रिजल्ट ऑफ द वर्क द अनप्रडिक्टेबिलिटी ऑफ द रिजल्ट ऑफ द एक्शन will not be there if a person is established in satya satya pratishthayam kriya phala ashrayatvam that is ashrayatvam it is dependent on that and that dependence is sure it is so when this power of truth will be established with us sinas and even in the dream if we tell an untruth even in the thought word or deed whatever we will say it will become truth that is the power which comes into the ability to predict correctly it's very very common and normal satya pratishthayam kriya phala shrayatvam so a person who is established in satya will be able to predict the result of a work result of action correctly not only that his prediction will be correct or he will predict the result correctly we have a famous श्लोक इन भगवद गीता कर्मण्येवाधिकारस्ते मा फलेशु कदाचना मा कर्म फल हेतुर्भू माते संघ अस्तु कर्मणि ए पर्सन हु इज एस्टाब्लिश्ड इन सत्य सत्य प्रतिष्ठायां क्रिया फलाश्रयत्वं मा फलेशु कदाचना बट दैट फल एग्जैक्ट रिजल्ट will be predicted or he will achieve the result correctly so a person established in satya achieves the expected or fixed goal he will not miss the goal he will not miss the target he will not lose the result and the fruit of the action and the work because because he has established in satya he will be able to take it in take into consideration all the seen and unseen results of all the actions which may play a role in producing a result he will be able to visualize that because he is established in satya that's why this sutra is an important dimension practically even materially in our day to day activities that is how maharshi patanjali explains intricacies in the practice of the yama niyamas so the 36th sutra gave this wonderful dimension of practice of satya so let us be rooted in satya for all normal practices satya is be truthful it is not just being simply honesty be truthful speak truth and this but many times many people give lot of so much of arguments but keep them all aside in all our normal regular life let us make it a habit to be truthful and speak truth let us see other sutras om shanti shanti shanti